Hey guys, just want to give you a little update on the last, one of the last major fossils that we found. Now initially I identified this as a pteranodon, but after some research and some prep, some consultation with some of our friends in the paleo world, we realized this is not a pteranodon, but actually a very rare diving bird called Hesperornis. This is actually more rare than, ter than pterosaurs or pteranodon, so kind of even cooler. However, when we went out to dig for it, and dig for more of it, it was missing the skull, the bones were spread out quite a bit, um, and that's what we call disarticulated. Disarticulation basically happens to an animal as the animal is decaying and breaking down. Uh, sometimes sharks may have come and scavenged it, chewed it up a little bit, and the bones get dispersed and spread out a little bit more. Maybe wave action or currents moving, moving at the bottom of the ocean there helps spread those bones further apart. And so things like the skull, unfortunately in this case, may not be recovered. Uh, we're going to keep digging and hope that it's there somewhere. Now, put that in contrast with our brand new Mosasaur that, uh, that our, our good friends Joanne and Troy found uh, just last week. That one we called the JT Mosasaur. This is the seventh Mosasaur that we've recovered from this ranch. It's been absolutely incredible, this little zone that we're finding. Uh, but anyway, JT is what we call articulated, which means all of the bones are in a row just like they would be in life. Vertebrae after vertebrae after vertebrae, finger bone after finger bone. And so whereas the Hesperornis is disarticulated but associated, our new Mosasaur is fully articulated. So, thanks guys.